What is the crack, lads? We are back with yet another player pack review. So today, Konami dropped the Trent Alexander-Arnold new ambassador pack. So you guys might remember that they dropped a pack like last month or maybe two months ago now nearly of the Lionel Messi and the Neymar pack. So it was a special edition of Neymar and Messi and then you had a special edition of Ansu Fati and you had the club packs where Ansu Fati was a legend, Upa Meccano was a legend. Um, so today they have added the Liverpool one which you're seeing here. Obviously the AC Milan and the Inter Milan ones are kind of slightly different. They're only 900 coins and they have, you know, literally their squad uh, from the Inter 22-23 season whereas this Trent Alexander-Arnold pack seems to be the ambassador pack for Trent and it is 1500 coins and you get a legend card for Trent Alexander-Arnold a special edition card and you also get Harry Kane and Robertson so it's a mix of English squad players um, from the England team and then Liverpool squad players from the Liverpool starting 11 as well so you've got Salah, Van Dijk, you've got Robertson uh, Jota, Henderson, and then England-wise, you've got Shalaba, uh, Pickford, uh, Abraham, Mount, and Harry Kane. So this is a very kind of like, yeah, it's a very strange pack, right? Because I think you're missing a couple of players there, obviously. I would have liked to seen Diaz and Nunes. I think that they missed a beat with not having Nunes in this pack and having Nunes to go up to like, you know, like a 92 overall kind of meta striker because... I think he is a bit of a hot property at the moment. I think it would be like doing a Manchester United pack and not having Anthony in. So maybe there is still a couple of uh, things they're trying to sort out. Um, but I definitely would have tried to get Nunes in and Diaz as well would have been would have been a class addition, I think, to that. And even Thiago, man. Thiago would have been a nice one or Allison instead of Pickford. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there is a couple of nice picks in this uh, pack as well, we which we will go through them. So we're not going to go through them all, I don't think, because there's no real point. I mean, if uh, if you guys have checked out these players, you'll see that, you know, the likes of Pickford here, yeah, he's on A form. And yes, he does have standard form, which with the A form isn't going to be a massive deal. I have a new video coming up on that quite soon. So it won't be an issue if you guys want to check that out um, to see what the standard form and the rating, especially for newcomers. But like, he's not going to be a keeper that really changes the dial for you, right? Because you can buy the standard version of him and train him up extremely similar. If you are looking for an end game goalkeeper, you don't need to look any further than Donnarumma. And then if you're looking for cheap options, you do have a lot of players like Lafont, Areola. There's a load of players there, Messlier from Leeds. There's a load of guys that you can actually buy. Uh, that it will do a job for you, Ter Stegen, whatever. So uh, yeah, Pickford is good. Listen, any of the players in these packs are going to be good. Like Tammy Abraham here, he is a very, very good card as well, especially as you train him up. You can boost up his acceleration and finish in like 86, um, which we'll take a look at over on eFootballDB in a minute. Mason Mount as well is another extremely good player to have. He is definitely one I would recommend you guys to check out because I do think with the likes of Mason Mount and players like that, you are going to be able to kind of um you know kind of like like hone in on what skills that you want and this guy only has standard form as well but he's got a bag of player skills now he is on c rating this week because he's not obviously with the liverpool pack so that is a bit of a pity um but yeah but otherwise than that like if you take a look at shalaba here again before we go into eFootball db and take a look again shalaba he's got 20 levels he's got some really nice player skills uh of interception slide and tackle man marking and again, he's got a nice player render. He looks good. Uh, 79 overall. He's got 20 levels, as I said. You can get up his defensive awareness, his acceleration, his speed very high as well. So he is a good player to have, I would say, as well. But if you are training up any of these lads, right, as I'm going to show you, and I will make my point in a second in a roundabout way by showing you the two, the four players I'm going to concentrate are these four boys here. So Kane, Van Dijk, Salah and Arnold. So the rest of the players, yeah, if you buy these and you train them up and you max them out, they are obviously going to improve your squad. You are going to find that, you know, the likes of uh, Hendrick, in. again he's a very very kind of like average cmf that you can buy for gp and you could kind of get players that would excel even better um obviously if you're a liverpool fan you are going to want this pack and you are you are going to want the captain henderson he's got 28 levels to go but you know he's not gonna he's not gonna improve your squad tenfold i would say that's just my opinion lads i could be you know i could be wrong obviously but if you are a liverpool fan you are going to enjoy playing with these players but 
similar like you to all the players in the game you can actually buy a very very decent alternative to these guys with gp um jota as well the same again doesn't have the speed and acceleration or the finishing that you would expect for only a player that can go 22 levels plus he is on d form now he does have unwavering form which will uh take a little bit of the edge off that and sweeten his card a little bit and he does have some incredible player skills but as i said i would have liked to see nunez or diaz or even tiago or somebody like that or maybe carvalho or one of the younger players like harvey elliott come on and just have a really decent kind of game changer card that you could just be playing with different versions of the card but yeah i mean he's not going to really change the dial for you too much with that but as i said if you do get these cards they are going to be impressive enough in a way that you will be able to actually you know do something with them now robertson again he is a bit of a bit of a strange choice as well because he's got you know 70 defensive awareness 80 acceleration he does have 26 levels so you can boost that up quite high and he does have unwavering form he's probably one of the best picks here uh, with the with the full backs if you are looking for a really solid left left back but then I would be recommending, you know, Davies. I would be recommending somebody like Guerrero, who's a who's a very cheap option on left back that can average or even excel in a lot more positions than uh, Robertson or a lot more stats than Robertson. So getting into the nitty gritty, right? We are going to be taking a look over on eFootballDB.com in just a second, um, but we are going to be taking a quick look at van dyke here first so van dyke is probably one of i would say top five center backs at the moment for one key reason right he's extremely slow his acceleration is extremely slow but his defensive awareness is like one of the highest in the games i think it's probably yeah he's definitely like an absolute beast he's got b form he's got a wavering form b rating he's got loads of player skills including acrobatic clearance aerial superiority blocker and interception which are massively important if you are a center back with the blocker and with the way that the defendant is gone at the moment this guy is absolutely incredible so if we go over to eFootballDB.com, this is what he actually trains up to uh, so he's got 70 speed 67 acceleration 83 header but look at that defensive awareness 94 and that is what you are looking for with the way the gameplay is at the moment i think so i definitely think van dyke is probably worth it if you are looking to get this pack i definitely think he is worth it that's just my personal opinion next up we do have harry kane so he is on a form he's got 18 levels to go and he has got some unwavering form as his baseline here but again it's the speed and acceleration you're gonna you're gonna have to pick your poison with how you play with harry kane oh i need to change my position um, you're going to have to pick your poison because like Lewandowski, like you know Cristiano Ronaldo, they're not the fastest strikers in the game anymore compared to like the likes of Rafael Liao, Mbappe, Son, um, or Romario or any of the legend cards. So you do have to pick your poison into how you're going to be attacking. Now the deep line forward is a bit of a bit of a hidden gem of a player play style because of the runs they make that they kind of like you know make deep runs to come and collect the ball but then when you have the ball in possession they kind of stay up top so i do think that harry kane will be a good player and we will take a quick look at him over here on eFootballDB.com if i can move my mouse um again he can have 92 finish and 95 offensive awareness 70 acceleration and speed so the runs he's going to be making are going to be extremely hard to track the problem is when he gets the ball at his feet he's not going to be that zippy striker that you guys are probably used to playing with or that i like to play with so again he is one to look out for 85 kick and power as well which is very very decent i would say you know it's not a massive one um but again like if you do like harry kane and you are a good player at the game like you can actually excel with this card but look how he compares against his standard version right so if you just hover over here which is a nice feature of eFootball db you can see that his standard version of the card has got six more levels to be trained up and he's only minus one in a lot of these stats so you'll see the little minus one beside his finishing his offensive awareness so you could actually buy his card for four hundred and fifty thousand gp train him up max him out with six more levels and you would have a better card than this version of it and that kind of follows through as well for salah who we have here so all his stats are maxed out here 90 speed 90 acceleration 83 finish and 92 offensive awareness very similar to Raphael Lau's card um 90 ball control dribbling stats out the wazoo absolutely unbelievable balance as well incredible card he's got unwavering form he's got loads of player skills but again when you shape him up against his standard card right even though he's on d form 
you're pretty much getting an identical card. Look how identical this card is. So the only difference here, and he's got one extra level to go, is his balance stat. That's it. The rest of the card is identical to what you're getting with this player pack, with the way that we've trained him up. So that is very interesting as well. Like there's literally, literally no discrepancy here apart from the balance. You know, that's it. Like, and obviously the playstyle proficiency. So last but not least, we do have a Trent Alexander who you see here. And also with this pack, lads, you do get 15 or 60,000 trainer programs. But with this pack here, I think Trent is probably the pick of him. So obviously he's the legend card. And as you can see here, he is, look, he is going to be a good player, right? I'm not going to say that he's not. I haven't really used Arnold that much. I don't think that he's one of the best right backs in the game. I think Kimmich is the best right back in the game for the way I play, possession-wise. But I would like to try out this, this Trent Alexander card because it looks absolutely insane. And look, it should be. I mean, it's a legend ambassador card. He is going to be a very, very high-rated player. So, yeah, I mean, he's got some really nice player skills. He's got a wavering form. He's got speeding bullet, which overlooks a lot of his speed and acceleration, um, you know, like discrepancies there. But when we actually head over to eFootballDB and we take a look in more detail at his maxed-out version of the card, a right back with 85 speed, 85 acceleration, 80 offensive awareness, and 79 defensive awareness is very, very OP. And then you also have, on top of that, Excellent stamina, excellent engagement, excellent aggression, excellent ball control skills and extremely good passing, especially lofted passes. I think that Trent would be really good in my squad. But again, as a like a legend card, when you look at this guy, right, and you compare him to his base card, Trent can go three more levels, which is going to be six more points that you can upgrade. So it kind of stacks up very, very similar. You'll see that he's minus one. His standard card is minus one speed, minus one acceleration. And then the rest of his stuff is just kind of negligible. Like it's not, it's not really something that like you're going to be like saying, oh, I couldn't get his standard card. It's way worse than the legend card. Obviously, the legend card is going to be insane uh, because it's a ready-made card that you just have to boost up and you can use the trainers and get him up fairly high. But this standard version of the card is extremely good as well. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. I hope you guys are enjoying these player reviews as much as I'm doing them. I love doing them. And uh, hopefully we get a couple of the players that we can test out soon. But yeah, let me know if you're going to get this and let me know if you are a bit disappointed or if you are happy with the players included with this. So I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you later, lads. Peace.